Today we're going to be looking at the zero chart of accounts. If you're a limited company and you use the standard zero chart of accounts, then I'm going to show you how to improve it. And these improvements will cut down on the time taken for data entry and also reduce the likelihood of making mistakes. So let's go do it. Okay, from the dashboard, we want to go to the chart of accounts. So we choose settings and then chart of accounts. And if we've got the standard chart of accounts from zero, there are codes that are not relevant for a limited company. Now I'm going to go to the search box and I'm going to key in the word owner and I'm going to search. And the reason we want to do that is because we know that there are two codes on the chart of accounts that are not relevant when you've got a limited company. Funds introduced and drawings are only relevant if you are a sole trader or a partnership. So we want to click to the left to select them and we would choose delete. Now I don't want to delete them because I want to use them later. So I'm going to choose the option to archive. And when you make your choice, you'll get a warning message. Just checking that it's OK. So that's the two codes for owner gone. And now what we want to do is we're going to look at accounts that we want to change. And again, I'm going to go to the search box and I'm going to choose enter because I want to find codes that are called entertainment. And on the standard chart, there are two codes for entertainment. We don't actually need two. It's not relevant in the UK, so we're going to select one of them. And again, you would choose delete. Once your entertainment code has gone, I'm going to search, I'm waiting patiently, I'm going to search for travel. And a similar reason here, I'm searching for travel because I know that zero gives us two different travel codes. There's a code for national travel and there's a code for international. Again, not relevant to have the two, so we're going to select the international one. You would delete, I am going to archive. So we're now left with one code for entertainment and one code for travel, and we're just going to tidy them up a little bit. So again, I can find the entertainment code. And this time I want to edit the code. To edit, just click on the name of it that's in blue and it takes you into the edit box. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this 100%, this 0%, because in the UK that doesn't make sense. Entertainment tends to be disallowed. So again, the description says I'm going to remove part of it. We can zap that and then save. And I'm going to go back to the travel code. And again, I'm going to select it. And I'm going to remove national. And I'm going to add in here and subsistence, if I can spell. Or you might want to say and hotel, something like that, to confirm what you're actually going to use the code for. And I'm going to remove the word domestic. I'll change it to say expenses incurred on travel and subsistence, and then choose save. Now I'm going to have a quick look at codes in zero that are used for fixed assets and we can actually find them. You can see that there's tabs so we can actually click on the asset tab and then we'll be able to see the fixed asset codes and I'm going to select and I'm going to go for the edit option here again. I'm going to select office equipment. Now the reason I'm going to do this is it's very easy for people to use this code in error. This code is for fixed assets that are going to be held in the business for more than a year. 
chances are they're going to be higher value. So I'm going to put a suggestion in here that it's for amounts over £200. But what we want to do is we want to avoid coding small items here by mistake. So if you go and buy a stapler, you wouldn't want it to be coded to office equipment. So when you see this greater than £200, that will just alert you as you're coding the expense for your stapler that maybe that's not the right code to select. And I'm going to do the same with computer equipment. So if you went and bought a new mouse, for example, you would want a code that's called IT expenses, something like that. Computer equipment would not be the right code. So again, if we just put in, in brackets, greater than £200, it will alert you if you go to use that code by mistake. Buildings were all right with that self-explanatory and so is motor vehicles but we'll choose plant and machinery and we'll do the same thing greater than 200 pounds and then we will choose save and that's it that's your chart of accounts tidied up i suggest that you take a few minutes of your time and you go and do it. It will save you time on data entry and it will save making mistakes. Happy zeroing.